Learning more about the flow of drugs into our country, that's what Martin County Sheriff William Snyder hopes to do in an upcoming trip to the U.S. border in Arizona. Treasure Coast Bureau reporter Taylor Hernandez is live in Stewart tonight with more from the sheriff on this ongoing problem. Taylor? Well, Felicia, the sheriff told reporters this afternoon the border has been coming to us. Now I am coming to it. Martin County is facing the same quality of life and crime issues that actual border states are facing. Sheriff William Snyder said it's his hope in accepting the Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniel's invitation to visit the border that he will see how they are coping with the crisis and open a line of communication with their narcotics department. Sheriff Daniel says if you don't understand what's going on at the border, you will be in the dark as to what is occurring in your community. As for how the southern border affects the Treasure Coast, Sheriff Snyder said that right now the Martin County Jail is overflowing to the point inmates are sleeping on mats on the ground. He said of the 540 inmates, 45 are undocumented and 11 of them are sex offenders. But the sheriff's primary concern about the border crisis, drugs, citing the 89 overdose deaths in the county last year alone. The majority of those people that died in Martin County got drugs from 1800 miles away in places like Cochise County, Arizona and Texas. Just yesterday, two men were arrested in Martin County after deputies seized 370 pressed fentanyl pills. Sheriff Snyder said during their investigation, they found text messages to the suspects referencing the drugs border price. Let there be no mistake. This is not rhetoric. This is not me responding to what I see on national news. Sheriff Snyder will spend four days at the United States southern border in Arizona. Two deputies are traveling with him. Live tonight in Stewart, Taylor Hernandez, WPBF 25 News.